What's going on y'all? So I got my little Z2 here and I just made a little spray rig on it. I want to show y'all how I put it together. Y'all don't go nowhere. So I just took the tank off the stander. I'm fixing to go ahead and dress it up and paint it, put it back together. And while I had it apart, I just wanted to show how I made it. And basically it just mounts to two holes right here. And that's where you strap it down to the trailer and you put your tie down hooks on. Uh, got some heavy duty bolts. As you can see, just sticking through like that. And they go right here just some two inch angle iron welded to a one and a half inch square tubing and this is some two inch flat bar on top obviously the tank mounts right here they have locations on the tank where bolts can go up in there and secure it and I just use these galvanized uh, I think they're half inch or three eighths I don't remember the size but just basically find the right bolt that fits in those threaded holes and I also capped off the ends right here just so water doesn't get inside the tube and rot it out. But that's basically it. Over here, like I, I have my hose and my wiring. I got my switch right there. And I'm also gonna take this apart and paint it. All right, got it all painted up, bolted on. Like I said earlier, the 916th galvanized bolts, I just uh, hand tighten them into the plastic and then I put this jam nut up against it. So basically you put the nut on the bolt first, hand tighten it, and then jam the nut up against it. Don't over tighten it, you pretty much just hand tighten it. I also put uh, a rubber isolator pad in between it. It's probably not necessary, but I just did it anyway. And this is what it looks like up here. Mount it. I got a shut off valve right close to the motor. That way whenever I'm not using it, I can shut it off and that way it doesn't leak. Back here. So I just got the hose running, split off to three nozzles. And I just utilize these nuts right here on this little bracket I made, just like so. It's just three quarter inch square tubing. And I took a carriage bolt, stuck in there, welded it around, grinded it down. That way no water gets on the inside. It's all sealed up. And I don't know where this bracket came from, but it fit perfect. So I used it. I'll show you what it looks like on there. All right, that's what it looks like mounted. It's about the same height as these right here. And I've tested it out, the spray pattern. It ends up right where the outside of those tires. So I could just uh, follow the stripes in a lawn and it'll cover it just right. Good coverage. I'm not sure what tips these are, but it's a real fine mist and uh, probably like a eight inch wide, eight to 10 inch wide pattern on the bottom. If you enjoyed this video, and this is helpful in any way, Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe.